Welcome back to another episode of Henry TV. I am your host, 22 Plinkster, and we at Henry get a lot of questions regarding the two and a half inch 410 load. More importantly, when it's fired out of the ax gun. If you are considering the ax gun for home defense, it is only available in two and a half inch 410 shells. Now, I'm gonna try a couple of different shells out to show you what you can expect at about 18 feet. 18 feet represents a pretty good sized room in your home. We're gonna try seven and a half bird shot. This is a half ounce lead, and it's traveling about 1200 feet per second, maybe just a tad bit slower out of the ax gun. Then we're going to go up in shot size, something to a little bit bigger, and we're going to shoot some six shot. This is also a half ounce, and it's traveling right around 1,200 feet per second also. Then we're going to ramp it up to some two and a half inch buckshot. This has four pellets of triple aught buck, and they're traveling right around 850 feet per second. But last but not least, we're going to be trying some slugs. Quarter ounce slugs traveling at over 1,700 feet per second. How far will it penetrate into this jail? Is this firearm adequate for home defense? Let's find out. I'm roughly 18 feet away from the jail just to simulate the average size room, maybe a living room or something in someone's house. I've got loaded up seven and a half shot. If you're worried about over penetration, you would have to go with a large or a very small uh, bird shot like seven and a half. So let's just see what it would do to this ballistic jail at 18 feet. Well, I didn't miss it. All right, pretty good penetration for the seven and a half shot. Now this is at 18 feet. Let's just see what kind of penetration we got. It looks to be right at maybe nine and a quarter to nine and three eighths inches of penetration with that two and a half inch uh, 410 shotgun shell. Now I'm gonna flip this ballistic gel over around and we're gonna shoot it with the number six shot which should penetrate a little bit more. All right, the seven and a half shot did pretty good. Should see a little bit more penetration with the number six shot. So here we go, same distance. All right, made a good shot here on this ballistic gel. Now this is six by six ballistic gel, six inches by six inches. Uh, I don't see where any of the pellets escaped. I was able to capture all the pellets and it did penetrate a little bit more, maybe, possibly, or about the same. So the leading one is right here and it's about right at nine and an eighth so it actually it penetrated just a little bit less but basically about the same only difference is between the six and the seven and a half is uh you know you just get a bigger diameter pellet so but it, it penetrated about nine inches and an eighth so about nine and an eighth now i have another piece of ballistic gel right over here we're going to set this one aside for right now and we're going to try the um the triple lot buck and see how much penetration we can get in one of these blocks all right now i have some triple lot buck now this has four pellets. It's moving much slower, only 850 feet per second. But this round was developed for home defense. So let's see what it would do in ballistic gel. All right, I was only able to put one pellet out of four in this gel at that distance. And you can see what happened. One of those pellets went clean through this ballistic gel. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the old block right behind it and we're gonna see if we can capture at least one of these pellets at 18 feet. 
All right, I have both those blocks set up now. If it goes through both of them, it's some serious penetration. Here we go. See if I can get at least one captured. All right, let's go take a look. This is actually what I wanted to do. I actually captured three out of the four pellets. They zipped right through this gel block, no problemo, and they actually stopped into the second one. So I captured three out of four, and look at that, 26 and a half inches of penetration. So yeah, that will actually get the job done. Even though those uh, triple lot bucks are only traveling at 850 feet per second, that would do a number. Now, let's shoot the slugs. Last but not least, let's try this quarter ounce rifled slug traveling at over 1,700 feet per second. There is a hollow point there, so this is, I don't know if it's gonna dump all of its energy at once or it's gonna penetrate like the triple lot buck did. I'm kinda of curious. I've never seen ballistic gel uh, shot with this kind of slug before out of a 410, so here we go. Wow. All right, this really surprised me. Um, that rifled slug only went in this ballistic gel about six and a half inches. That's it. Not much, not much at all. But look at the wound channel that it made when it came in. So it dumped all of its energy right there in the first four inches of this block and then it continued to penetrate another two to three inches past that. That's pretty impressive. Um, I was expecting it to go all the way through here, but it dumped all of its energy within, what I say, seven inches, six and a half, seven inches. So in my opinion, that would be adequate for home defense. Now, this is the first kind of one of these videos that we've done here on Henry TV. If you like for us to try more calibers in the ballistic gel, just let us know. And at the end of the day, you have to decide what is adequate for home defense. Is the ax gun adequate for home defense with two and a half inch shells? You be the judge. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. And remember, if it's not made in America, it's not made at all.